Kelly and I sailed Alaska's Inside Passage on Discovery Princess. In this video series, we share with you our complete cruise experience. See how we spend our sea days exploring the ship and our port days with excursions in Ketchikan, Juneau, and Skagway, Alaska. Good morning. So, last night I told you that we'd be doing some scenic cruising through the Endicott Arm from five to nine. Well, we slept till six and we just woke up, can you tell? And this is what we're seeing outside our balcony window. Pretty nice to wake up to this. Little glacier pieces floating by. We also have a naturalist on board who is speaking about how this valley was formed and um, histories of the glaciers and things like that. And it's playing in different public areas of the ship. So still waking up, good job nature. Part of our beverage package is we can also get specialty coffees. And the Princess Live Cafe has a really good assortment. I'm gonna be getting the honey lavender latte. They also have a chocolate cookie latte and a chocolate mint cappuccino among classic flavors like espresso and flat white. Thank you so much. You're welcome. So we weren't able to progress any farther through the channel because of the ice. So we are slowly turning around. And as you can see, that is where we could not go. Um, but this is still scenic cruising. So now everyone's up and the ship will turn around and we will go back. So we are running around the ship filming everywhere and we encountered a couple of these ducks. So I don't know if you guys, while you've been cruising, have ever come across these ducks. They're, they're called cruising ducks. And essentially what it is, is passengers will purchase these before their trip. And then they also can make their own or purchase these cards that say, congratulations, you found a cruising duck. Keep or hide, you decide, but only hide me in public places. Please no shops or pools. And then on the back, you can fill out your name, what ship and the dates of your sailing and then you hide them and when people come across them there's instructions on here to take a selfie and post it to social media using the tag hashtag cruising ducks and in all of our cruises we've never found any and on this cruise we found two, two. In, in two days so we just wanted to show you guys how fun this was um, and then of course we are going to rehide them we haven't figured out where yet but we will do a post on social media because that's half the fun. Yeah. And then we'll attach the little card here and we'll find a place so someone else can find this duck. Good luck. So we have made port in Juneau and we are off the ship, obviously. <laughs> we are headed to lunch with a friend and then we're gonna go out whale watching. Whale watching, <laughs> woohoo! We ate lunch, we're nice and full. Now we're going whale watching with Gastineau guiding. Hey there. Hello. Oh, there's the other one. Oh, she's just going along. <laughs> there's the tail. <laughs> so, Callie, uh -huh. how is it going? <laughs> I would say it's going great. <laughs> Do you, do you want to tell that to the camera? Oh, you're filming. <laughs> Guys, we've seen so many humpbacks. Do you see this one right there? And on the GoPro, it's just a little dot, but I promise you. I think it might be a mama and a baby, right? Oh, look, yeah. there's the other oh, one. Cool. 
So we are back aboard after our whale watching experience and we we saw a lot of whales. It was successful. Yeah, there were at least eight or ten whales that we kind of followed a they little said bit. Four groups and four apparently groups. it was a very successful yeah. whale sighting cruise. We cruised with Gastineau guiding, which we have a friend here locally in Juneau, and he says they're very good, and I agree. It was fun. Captain Buffy took us out, yep. and June was our guide, and we learned a lot. We saw, in addition to in a addition bunch to of whales. humpback whales, we saw sea lions, tons of bald eagles. At one point, there were like eagles. 50 of them swarming, circling some, some fish in fish. the water or something. It was and great. And even the captain and June were saying, look at that teeny tiny cute black and white down there um they were saying that they've never seen anything like that. i'm sorry it's super cute do you see it i know you guys won't be able to say it, but it's super cute believe me and yeah now we are back and we are going to get ready for dinner i you're think gonna we're gonna have dinner in the one of the main dining rooms oh yeah there are three i'm not used to that usually one you just say the mdr we'll, but we'll figure out we'll go to one of the main dining rooms and we'll let you know which one it is so we are in the Skagway dining room, one of three dining rooms on Discovery Princess. And tonight in the main dining room, it is Italian night. But we just had Italian at Sabatini's, the specialty restaurant, two nights ago. So we didn't want to go too heavy on the Italian. But Princess has in the main dining room a set of uh, just offered every night uh, dishes. So we ordered kind of off that menu. I got the shrimp cocktail. Uh, Kelly did go with the Italian with the prosciutto and melon dish, but we have a bit of a mix. That's because I love prosciutto and I love melon. I just got a Caesar salad. Ryan got something more interesting. I got the French onion soup. Cheese for days. Oh yeah, that's hitting the spot. That is exactly what I needed. And something hot after a day outside yeah i have not gone one day without eating fish especially salmon i think i've had it every single day so that is what i got tonight the sockeye salmon it is part of the princess favorites menu so it is available every night and i got the scallops and shrimp because i cannot resist shellfish this is part of the Italian night menu. Ryan does love his seafood. So for dessert, I got the warm berry cobbler with a little bit of vanilla gelato. And Kelly got this special thing. Ooh. This is a dessert that is always offered. It is the Princess Love Boat Dream. It is chocolate mousse with raspberry creme brulee over a brownie. And as you know, Princess was made famous by the TV show Love Boat. So, classic. I know you guys wanted to see inside that. Layers. Mm, it's really good. This raspberry on top is like, mm, it really adds a lot of depth to it. That's nice. So these interactive screens are all over the ship and a lot of times they just kind of help you navigate where you are and what's going on. So the one in the middle of the elevator bank always kind of tells you the activities and you can move it through the day and then you can also switch days and it'll tell you one what deck you're on what time it is if you're at sea if you're in port and then it'll tell you all the activities this one over here is usually just a map of the ship so you can figure out what deck you want to go to and what's on the deck and then you can also have it tell you how to get there you can do find me and it'll put this little green dot on the right deck and then you can be like okay take me to this laundromat and it'll show you where it is and get me there and it'll tell you how to get there anyway the other thing these things do so you can play games you just have to scan your medallion and it knows who you are and then you can play these games so that's what ryan's doing right now and then you can like see where you are with other passengers it's kind of neat check it out what game is this? Match. 
I am matching, Are you matching things. I'm matching things. My last score was just over 3,000. Didn't even put me in the top 50. You can compete with other passengers and check in during the week. And Anyway, just something fun to do. There's lots of games on here, right? Uh, yeah, I think there's about a half dozen or so. Yeah. Just one more thing you can do with that awesome medallion. It isn't even 10 o'clock at night, but we are going to bed because we have to wake up at 5 a.m. for tomorrow's excursion in Skagway. I think we may have mentioned this already, but we have yet to see like true darkness on this whole cruise because the sun comes up really early and it sets really late. Um, it's just always bright out. You wake up, it's bright. You go to bed, sometimes it's still light out. You have to wait till like 11, like 11 o'clock for it to get dark. And we're, we go to bed before then. But anyway, great day in Juneau. Juneau. I really like Juneau. It's got such a cool vibe. Yeah. It's only my second time here, but I really want to come back again and again. I really like it. Although I'm looking forward to seeing Skagway tomorrow. Yes, indeed. It'll be our first time there. Uh, I just want to say thanks for following our vlog and for checking out this cruise in Alaska with Princess. It's been a great week so far. Hope you guys are enjoying it, having just as much fun as we are. Any questions, just ask us in the comments down there. Let us know what you think, and we will see you in the morning.